Milk Tea Lovers, welcome back. Today is another Milk Tea Wrap series and the recipe that I'm going to show you is going to be taken from my book All Things Milk Tea. If you haven't yet got the copy, please check the description box below for details on how to order. For this recipe, we are going to use the recipe on page 232 of the book. It is going to be Red Velvet Milk Tea Wrap. And we are going to make two sizes, 16 ounces and 22 ounces. Let's look at the ingredients. For the ingredients, because this is going to be milk tea prep, I am going to use black tea. I'm using my own blend of black tea here. And this is my brewed black tea, strongly brewed using the mocha pot. If you haven't yet um, seen my video tutorial on how to brew black tea using the mocha pot, check the link above. Next ingredient, it is red velvet. I am using red velvet powder here, ready-made red velvet powder. And we are going to use condensed milk, evaporated milk, prep base, and that's really all that you need here. In my recipe book, you will see that I have included sugar syrup for those that would like their drinks to be sweeter. But because most of these ready-made powders are quite sweet already, you might wish to try the recipe without adding the sugar syrup and use only the sweetened condensed milk as the sweetener. And of course, the one from the ready-made powder. For today's video clip, I am going to separate my milk syrup into condensed milk and evaporated milk. If you are using milk syrup, that's also possible. You can follow the recipe in the book. For those without the ready-made milk syrup, you can follow what we are going to show you here today. Let's start by making our 16 ounces cup. For the 16 ounces cup, what we need is our strongly brewed black tea. I need three ounces or 90 ml of my brewed black tea. Three ounces there. If you would like the taste of the tea to come out, this must be really, really strong. You cannot use the same tea mixture that you use for your milk tea for a wrap. It will just not be strong enough, okay? So please check out how to brew your tea using the mocha pot in another video tutorial. Two tablespoons of red velvet powder. Okay. And then we need two ounces of milk syrup. If you're going to separate into condensed and evaporated, that is 40 milliliters of condensed milk. And 20 milliliters of evaporated milk and that is two ounces of milk. Okay, there you go. Finally, it is the prep base. For 16 ounces cup, I am going to add two teaspoons of my prep base. If you do not have a prep base, you can skip this, but your blended drink will not be as smooth and will not be as stable as when you add prep base into your drinks. One cup full of ice for 16 ounces, and we are ready to pop this into the blender. Start on low speed and then move up. And to add value, you can put cherry on top, okay? Red velvet milk tea prep, 16 ounces. Let's make our next drink for the 22 ounces cup. For this, I'm going to use four ounces or 120 milliliters of my 
brewed black tea. Nearly finished. There you go. And then this time I am going to use three tablespoons of my red velvet powder here. So three tablespoons, one. Level tablespoons enough, two. And three. And then again, I am going to separate my milk syrup with 40 milliliters of condensed milk. If you'd like it to be less sweet, you can make it 30 30, 20 milliliters of evaporated milk. And I've got two ounces of milk syrup here into the blender. And then finally, it is the frappe base. Because this is 22 ounces, I'm going to put one tablespoon or three teaspoons of my frappe base. Okay, then one cup full of ice into the blender and we are ready to blend. Another delicious treat, red velvet milk tea frappe. Well, I think my, my whipped cream is very, very soft this time. I did not refrigerate it. Keep your whipped cream refrigerated, okay? So let's see if it's sweet. 16 ounces cup. Mmm. Wow. This is exactly how it should taste like. You should be able to taste the tea. If you cannot taste the tea, you must make your tea stronger. Brew it with less water to tea ratio, okay? This is really delicious. This is definitely going to be a bestseller. It tastes like chocolate tea and so refreshing because of that tea base, okay? I love it. And now for the 22 ounces, the sweetness level for that one is just perfect, I think. No need to put the sugar syrup if it's me that's going to drink it. And now for the 22 ounces. Mm. Chocolatey red velvet. The color is beautiful with that red velvet color. And of course, the base is tea. It's just simply refreshing. Well, to me, the taste and the sweetness is just perfect. I am going to ask another person's opinion on this one. Just a quick one, let me ask Christiana back in and tell you whether they taste sweet or just about right, okay? Christiana, welcome back. Hello. This is red velvet milk tea. See so oh. whether you can taste the tea and, and the red velvet, okay? Are they the same or are they They're different? They're the same, it's just a different size of cup. Okay, I'll just try one. Let me try the smaller um, one. Try this one. <laughs> yeah, I actually would like her to try that one. Mmm. I can definitely taste the tea. It's yep, very exactly. sweet. It's sweeter than I would prefer it. But I can definitely taste the tea and I can taste the red velvet. Like I'm having a liquid red velvet cake. Mm. Ooh, sounds good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's it's it. Really it's good. sweeter. It's a little bit sweet for her. Oh, it has and chocolate in it? It's red velvet, actually. Um, oh, red velvet yeah, is actually chocolate? Red velvet. Yeah. Red, velvet, red velvet is actually chocolate. <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> colored mm. red. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah. How about this oh, one? Do you really think, uh, just see the sweetness level because uh, we use the same amount of sweetness level here. This one, yeah, it tastes the same. 
taste the same. Yeah. Okay. So now you know that red velvet has chocolate in there. <laughs> okay. For those that don't know, yes, look up the ingredients for red velvet, and they do have chocolate. <laughs> Didn't know that. Well, thank you very much. And yes, please do try these recipes and let me know what you think. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao How for now. now. <laughs>